Good morning, my name's Siobhan and this is Beam TV, my channel about child sexual abuse, recovery and life after abuse. Today I'm going to be talking about three girls and I'm going to tell you three points that really struck me whilst I was watching the show. Victims of abuse need to understand that what happened to them wasn't their fault and this is something that should be reinforced by parents and carers of abused children at every opportunity. The show demonstrates how the parents of the girls don't really know how to respond and they're probably struggling with their own sense of responsibility. After all, it's their poor relationship with their daughters that leaves them so vulnerable to being groomed in the first place. Nevertheless, at no point does anyone sit Holly down to say, what happened to you wasn't your fault, you have no reason to feel ashamed, even if you felt like you deserved it or you chose it, you've done nothing wrong. You were at the lower end of a power imbalance and you were manipulated into thinking that what was happening was okay or that you were a part of it or that you were complicit when really you weren't. So I just want you to know that. During the trial, Holly does say that she doesn't feel guilty, she just feels ashamed for not sticking up for herself sooner. And that's, that's another type of shame that abuse survivors feel, a sense of, why couldn't I have just told someone? When in reality, if we were to go back to that situation, we'd behave exactly the same way because we were so sure that speaking out would lead to a terrible outcome. Secondly, professionals who become whistleblowers. Although, you know, whistleblowing makes it sound like their referees at a school football match. It, it makes it all sound very slap on the wrist. But anyway, here we are. Whistleblowing professionals should be protected by mandatory reporting. I advocate for mandatory reporting in regulated activities. That means in public spaces, so schools, hospitals, churches, or wherever children are outside of the family home, where there is still currently no legal duty to report known or suspected child abuse. Can you believe that? So as much as commentary about three girls may talk about how the legal system has changed since those events, that is not objectively true. There was no legal duty to report child abuse then. There is still no legal duty to report child abuse. You can check out my Fixers video for more about that. Finally, professionals should learn from victims what they need and what good support looks like to them. And that's where Beam Project comes in. I started this venture so that people with lived experience of child sexual abuse could design and deliver safeguarding training themselves, directly, firsthand. Survivors of abuse don't need to be given a voice. We want to have our voices heard, and many of us have already been actively trying for years to change the way that vulnerable young people are treated by the justice system and by support services, and pretty much by everyone. I want you to understand why it's so difficult for children to speak out. I think the show did a good job of showing how children are manipulated into feeling complicit for the abuse that they are in fact a victim of. I want to tell you how to help children to speak out who are in that situation because I was in that situation. And I want you to understand how to help children, how to support them through the court process because I can tell you what would have helped me and the other survivors that I collaborate with. So if you are someone who wants to learn how to help the children who are in Rochdale type situations today or being abused at home because there's a lot of overlap, then my contact details are on the screen now. Well done for making it to the end of this video. If you like it or think it has an important message, then please share and subscribe now. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.